My name's Josie and this is my bus bow that I'm converting into my first ever home. So I'm not actually a van lifer right now, I'm a van builder. And this is the current state of my build. Yeah. But today's topic is window tinting. So I was in two minds about window tinting. Cons for me were, it changes the hue of the light. I bought a bus because of all the windows and I wanted views galore. So anything that potentially obstructs the view isn't exactly something that I wanted to do. Also, I've heard horror stories about people doing window tinting on their own. So I got someone to quote me to do it professionally and they quoted 600 pounds. Which isn't really in my budget, so. But the main factor that swayed me to tinting my windows was that topic of safety. They remind women everywhere of the steps we take on a daily basis without a second thought to keep ourselves safe. I thought it was really important to have my privacy and I didn't want it to be so obvious that I was a woman living on her own. So I took on the challenge of tinting my windows. I called in backup in the form of mum, Glenn, Pip and Ash. First up was my mother and we took on my front door. Not only is tinting your windows a bit of a tricky job, it is also relentlessly boring. You have to really, really, really clean your windows. For our first go, we didn't do too badly, though it definitely could have done with some improvements. Dirt on the window. Uh -oh. Great. So it looks all right far away, but then if you go up close, I mean, that's a big bubble there. See that bubble? That's a big one. Hello, to a bubble all it's just around the edges. Makes a difference though, look at it compared to the rest of the windows. I decided to go for a reflective film over blackout. One, because I love a mirror. <laughs> Two, because the idea of my bus reflecting the skies was the one. I think that's gonna be beautiful on the road. Next up was Glenn. He is one half of Homeschooled from Instagram. He actually had already done window tinting before, so he taught me loads of useful tips and tricks. We managed to get quite a lot done, just the two of us that day. With Glenn's help, we managed to get one, two, three, four, five, six, Windows done. What's up? What's up? I'm on the bus with Josie. This is Pip. <laughs> he came to help me on a particularly I cold to, day. I can't even feel my fingers. It is really cold. Can you see the breath? Or is it not that cold? No. <laughs> Yeah. Get on. Get on with it, yes. Yes, boss. It was a day of cleaning, cutting the film, peeling the film, spraying the film, spraying the windows, putting the film on the windows. Someone hold the film while the other person cuts carefully around the edges. It may look simple enough, but it's a lot trickier than it looks. Concentration. <laughs> Let's get this out and then I can. Don't film this, this is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Pip then went outside to check it was giving the effect I wanted, i.e. you couldn't see through. Have a look at when we have lunch and you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Now I'm uh, can you not see me? <laughs> I'm literally filming you, Pip. Huh? I'm filming you. <laughs> Last but not least was Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. Another eventful day of cleaning windows. And with Ash's help, I managed to finish the job. So, in a total of four days, with the help of my mom, Glenn, Pip, and Ash, I was able to tint 16 windows in total. Successfully, I would say. And now I have beautiful windows that will reflect the skies on the road. Thanks for watching. Oh,